Hi and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video we're going to go over how to reset your worlds. This can be the end, the nether or your overworld. It's really really simple and really really quick. So first we'll do the whole world. So you want to go to your server on Pebblehost and under utilities you can just click restart world. Once you click that and click run script, the script has been run, check your server console for its status. If we go to the console, we can see the server shut down and it is now starting it back up and creating everything new. Right, and there we go, it is completed. So we are now in a brand new world. This is the same server as before, it's just regenerated a whole new world. This does only regenerate the world, it doesn't regenerate permissions and stuff. So if you were op in the last world, you will still be op in this world. Alright, so I'm now going to show you how to reset your nether. So first of all, I'm going to show you what my current nether looks like. So this is my current nether, and once we reset it, it should look different. So to restart it, go back to Pebblehost. So once you are in Pebblehost, you do want to go ahead and stop the server. Once it has been stopped, you want to then go to File Manager. Once you are in File Manager, you want to scroll down to World underscore Nether. Then you want to check the box and scroll back up to click Delete. Then it will ask you again and just click delete once again. And then go back to your console and start the server again. Alright, so you can go ahead and join the server once again and we're going to go through the nether portal. And as you can see, we're in a completely new location. Alright, so I'm now going to show you how to reset your end. So as I did with the nether, I'm going to go to the end first. Now as the end does look pretty similar, I'm just going to play some blocks some pretty simple grass blocks here. And when the end resets, these should no longer be here. So once again, go back to Pebblehost and stop the server. And then from the menu, go to File Manager and scroll down to World underscore the underscore end. And just as we did with the nether, we're gonna go ahead and delete this. Now that it has been deleted, we're gonna go back to the console and start the server once again. Right, so now the server has been reset, we're going to log in. Right, we're now at spawn and we're going to go through the portal. And as you can see, the end has been fully reset, all the blocks are gone, and we have some new terrain. It also redoes the whole landscaping of the end, so if there was, maybe, if you spawned on nothing, then you would now spawn on something. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If it did help you, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. It helps us out greatly. Anyway, see you next time.